Hello everybody, welcome to another video of Bulls Grab Bag. Today we're gonna play some Skyrim. It's been ages. Sorry it's took me forever to record guys. I've been these last like me like an hour, I'm gonna say. I've been trying to go live. Cause I read somewhere we could do it I could do it at fifty. But I'm gonna try tomorrow I'm gonna try to go live. If it doesn't let me then uh, this could be a long grind to a thousand if that's what's going on. And let me see. Hmm. Anyway, on my video will be M rated yada yada yada. This this game has a little bit of vi it has violence, it has magic, it has blood, it has gore. It has some bad language. And let's get this party started. I haven't quite got us back to where we left off last, but oh well. I knew it would come to this one day. I knew. Serene needs help with her project to improve our. Speak with Gunma. He has something for you. Okay. This, this is originally owned. I'm trying to put it to good use. Watch your back. I'm stupid. Well, so I think we're completed the crossbow thing, so. We do we are, do we do have a lot of gold. This vampire showed up while you were away. I'm guessing it's the one you found in the Hollow Crypt. Says it's got something really important to say to you. So let's hear it. You probably weren't expect- I'd rather not be here either. It's important, so please just listen. Before your friend here loses his patience. It's- Well, it's about me. And the Elder Scroll that was buried with me. The reason I had it, and why I was down there, it all comes back to my father. I'm guessing you figured this part out already, but my father's not exactly a good person, even by vampire standards. He wasn't always like that, though. There was... a turn. He stumbled onto this obscure prophecy and just kind of lost himself in it. It's pointless and vague, like all prophecies. The part he latched onto said that vampires would no longer need to fear the sun. That's what he's after. He wants to control the sun. Have vampires control the world. Anyway, my mother and I didn't feel like inviting a war with all of Tamriel, so we tried to stop him. That's why I was sealed away with the scroll. I'm sorry, I had heard there were vampire hunters here. I thought they might want to know about a vampire plot to enslave the rest of the world. Was I wrong? Well, let's move then. I'm nothing if not persuasive. Where have you been? All right, you've heard what it has to say. Now tell me, is there any reason I shouldn't kill this blood-sucking fiend right now? Why? Because of that story about the prophecy about some vampire trying to put the sun out? Do you actually believe any of that? Who knows? Maybe it has a death wish. Maybe it's just insane. I don't really care. It can stay for now. But if it so much as lays a finger on anyone here, I'll hold you responsible. Got it? You hear me? Don't feel like a guest, because you're not. You're a resource. You're an asset. In the meantime, don't make me regret my sudden outburst of tolerance and generosity. Because if you do, your friend here is going to pay for it. Thank you for your kindness. I'll remember it the next time I'm feeling hungry. So, in case you didn't notice the giant thing on my back, I have the Elder Scroll with me. 
Whatever it says, it will have something that can help us stop my father. But of course, neither of us can read it. Well, the moth priests are the only... Not that it helps us anyway, because they're all half a continent away. In Cyrodiil. Some well, Imperial scholar arrived in Skyrim a few He's days ago. I was staking out the road when I saw him pass by. Maybe that's your moth priest. Do you know where he's staying now? No. And I'm not going to waste men looking. We're fighting a war against your kind. And I intend to win it. You want to find him? Try talking to anyone who'd meet a traveler. Innkeepers and carriage drivers in a big city, maybe. But you're on your own. Any idea how you're going to find a moth priest? Skyrim's a pretty big place. Well, back before I... The wizards know about it. Actually, now that I think of it, I'm going to come along with you. I've been really wanting to get out and explore a bit. Anything good? Uh, can I put armor on her? It's been a while since I used um, her as a follower. <laughs> you guys can't tell. Oop. Oop. No, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to give it to... Oh, I can! Make her wear glass armor. Wait, can I craft glass armor? Uh, I know, workish ebony. Um, no, I can't make that armor yet, but I can probably. Oh no. I wish I had no, I forgot all about that. What do I have? Whatever. Sure, full health. I can probably give her a set of an um Okay. I don't know where that lady is. Getting along with Isron. It's not easy to get supplies way out here, but I'm managing. Take a look. Not bad, I guess. Oh, fire sign. I don't think I have this spell. Hey, I need straw or whatever. I need that. Don't get yourself killed. If you're putting yourself in harm's way, you'd best be prepared. Take these. Okay, I wasn't thinking of that guy. East Run had a surprising stockpile of weapons and armor. Take a look. One less beast and nest of broodlings we needn't worry about any longer. Take care of yourself. I like what Isron has done with the place. It's good to see someone else who's... Speak with Isron. He has something for you. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Light empty armor. Can I believe I have a quest we can do? Where is it? Uh, I'm not gonna really worry about the Dongar quest right this second. Because I want to get this girl some good armor before we go into anything. I know she probably leaves us eventually, though, but. You know. Oh man, it's been a while since I, I, I seen the beauty of the. The beauty of Tamriel and all of its people. Um, okay, so I can go to a beggar. I'll 
go to this bigger year. I think you said I had to offer it a the bigger um, wine, bread, or a gold coin. I don't have any bread. I ate it all because <laughs> I was exploring and that game would cost a uh, dragon. I didn't want to waste. I didn't want to waste our healables, <laughs> so I used bread to heal. The gold armor I have in her chest would look good in that. But I don't know if she'll wear it though, that's the problem. And also, we are 32! Huh. It's been a while. For a certain fish, salmon. No, is that the fish there? No. Oh, of course, a dragon spawns. Oh, it's a blood dragon too. Soul. It's really dead then? Get to the shore so we can actually talk to you. By the gods, I don't even know what to say. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Take care now. Oh cool, the mercenaries are here. Uh I never take a look. Also, oh, 
Oh yeah, that's right. We have a unicorn. I forgot about that. And also, at least that dragon didn't fly away like the last time we played this game when all the dragons would fly away from us. Because they were giant, featherless drag lizards. That's a little strange. Why is there random dead wolves? <laughs> I don't know. I should be worried. We're not. Where'd you come from? Better not be all the things you just can't be bothered with. No, it's just a cool armor I'm gonna give you. That's all. Can you bring up another one? Of course you're not. Just the boots and the. Nothing like guns. a booster. Anything good? Maybe because of the vampire hunting set. What's with you now wearing right, nice armor? the great moth, if you think it'll help. So you will put that on, but nothing else. Stupid.
Alright, let's see what you have. Okay. I guess let's go back to our house. Where is our little house with all of our, that armor I got us? I think it's over here. Hopefully, we find something to put on. Because I don't want to wear normal glass. I want to wear something neat, something awesome, not something stupid like glass. Like, I love myself with glass armor, but I don't want to wear glass. Because look at us. We look awesome. She looks like barf. Like, I think Olivia can wear glass armor too, but... Okay. If you think it'll help. Okay, lady, if you don't wear this armor, I won't be mad. Okay, there's the boots, there's the gloves, the helmet. What's her in wearing armor? <laughs> I don't get it. I guess I have to make, find better armor for her at some point. Okay, that's a Dragon Priest mask. I'm just gonna put... Oh! Oh yeah, we have another Dragon Priest mask, too! So we have three dragon masks. We have like a good bit more to get. What type of armor can I craft? I want to be checked. I know I can make plated armor.
guess she's gonna wear leather. Imperial. Yeah, I don't see her wearing that either. Okay, lady, I swear. I'm gonna make this plate armor for you. Better wear it, okay? Better not be all the things you just can't be bothered with. That was a waste of metal. Wasted our time getting that armor for that lady when she's not gonna wear it. At least we have a cool armor now. We look like a black knight. Um, I guess. time we have we're gonna climb one that the one wait what is it 1,000 steps or 1 million steps or whatever because I don't think or because I don't think we ever did it at all so we're gonna climb up the mountain so we can talk to the graybeards I just, oh no, no, don't tell me I have a warrant. I need you to pitch in a little more around here, dear. I help, I do the chores. What else would you Never have to do? Never settle down to have children. I know you're Twice. such a This is gonna take a while. So, I'm hoping Elder Scrolls 6 is on PlayStation because I am need to out. Because the, the rumors are scaring me because it, it will suck if it's only on Xbox. That one game they added us, the new game they made called, called Starfield, I think it's called. That's on, on Xbox, and that sucks. That was supposed to be a good, it sounds like a good game. Knowing that uh, Microsoft bought out Ballesta, or however you say that name. Don't go setting the place on fire. Okay. Okay, jerk. Good boy. He had that coming. Don't be a jerk. Are you gonna? Ooh, he gives us a good bit of arrows. Well, anyway, like I was saying, if you're a jerk, you get a sword in the face.
highest mountain in the game. Man, look at the look at this place. It's beautiful up here. The very first time I did this, guys, there was two dragons spawned up here. Like, that was when the game first came out. And I, I think that was a bug. I'm betting that was a bug or something, because that never happened again. Just a pilgrim. I'd prefer to leave it at that, if you don't mind. I was just outside Iverstead when it happened. Walking the steps, meditating on the emblems. I make this trip every few years. Need something? When knowing she was a jerk, I will jab her in the face with a sword. Or dust fang. Or I won't stab her in the eye with dust fang because... She wasn't a butt face like that previous guy. Solitude from here.
so I believe this helps us start us with getting more dragons spawn, I believe. But I'm not sure. So, a dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Welcome to High Hrothgar. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn, why have you come here? We are the Greybeards. You stand in high. Here we commune with the voice of the sky. And so we are here to guide you in that. You are not the first, whether you are the only dragon. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. You have shown that you are dragon. But, do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Roll, the second word in unrelenting force. Roll means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Roll. constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. your unrelenting force to affect the targets as they appear. Well done. Again. Impressive. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragonborn. 
We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. I'm glad the game knows who that is. <laughs> they look the same. Oh, it looks the same to me. Okay, let's get like Bruce? hurry up. Bruce. to learn the whirlwind sprint shot. Master Bori will teach you now. Fury. The second word of whirlwind sprint. No. You must hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a film. Master Mori? That's not great for my skin. Wolf! Now, Wolf! Da! Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. do a trick shot it back into the thing I'm not doing that again I'm gonna walk wait I was free like a bird oh, I'll do it again hold on I'm I'm free as a bird okay okay I'm done swing around Time that one hurt. I'm playing. Okay. Your quick mastery of a new thune is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself. No, indeed not. But beware that your skill does not outstrip your wisdom. You are now ready. Retrieve the... Remain true to the way of the voice. You will return. Okay, there we go. When... Okay. I'm not gonna do the horn yet. I guess we'll do... Oh, that's 
go, horse. It's all up to you to get us to our location. Okay, we don't have much time. So much I get to this shrine quick as I can. Well, there's tr there's some trolls. I'm not really gonna worry about the troll. Those guys can handle one little troll. Vapor, dispersed by the slightest view. The Lord of many names mean nothing to our Lord. She only cares for those who care for themselves. You are nothing. like and subscribe make sure you share this video leave a comment and hope and pray we can go live tomorrow I know I am because I really want to go live because these little tiny videos are getting on my last nerve I'm about to throw I'm about to throw a blonde lady out the window Shh, don't tell her that or she will ground me I'm so stupid. Anyway, I'll see you guys all next time. Peace.